Surgery for complicated diverticulitis, another lesson learned from the past. The severity of acute diverticulitis ranges from a mild inflammation to a complication with abscesses, perforation and fecal peritonitis. Management is evolved towards minimal invasive and conservative strategies with the aim of decreasing the rate of aggressive and technically demanding surgical resections or stoma creation. Current data indicate that treatment must be adapted, taking the complexity of the disease, operative risk and surgery-related complications into account. A 53-year-old male with no relevant history came to the emergency room claiming that he had been suffering from abdominal pain for the last 15 days. It was located mostly at the lower abdomen and in the last few days the patient had developed a fever. Physical examination revealed tenderness and pain at the left lower abdomen and the laboratory results were 9.9 .9 .9 by 10 to the third power cube millimeters WBC with an RCP of 14 mg by decaliter. A CT scan was ordered and a thickened sigmoid colon with several diverticula was found. This was accompanied by a biloba collection smaller than 5 cm that was in contact with a portion of small bowel, also inflamed. No free liquid or pneumoperitoneum was found. The patient was admitted to the hospital and underwent conservative therapy with close follow-up. The clinical course was favourable and he was discharged. One month later, while awaiting a colonoscopy, the acute diverticulitis relapsed twice, requiring readmission. Once again, antibiotics and nutritional support were administered. The CT scan revealed similar findings to those of the previous episode. A sigmoidoscopy was carried out. There were no mucosal lesions and a biopsy ruled out IBD. Laparoscopic surgical treatment was provided as this was a complicated case of acute diverticulitis with various readmissions in a short period of time. The patient was placed in the supine position with open legs. The leading surgeon stood to the right of the patient with one assistant on each side of the patient. A total of four trocars were used. A 12mm port was placed at the umbilicus for a 30 degree scope. Two working ports were placed for the leading surgeon, a 5mm port at the right flank and a 12mm port at the right iliac fossa. The last one was a 5mm trocar on the left flank for the assistant surgeon.